Hello, and welcome back to some more Star Citizen. Today, I am looking at the 315P from Origin. Now, this is classed as an exploration ship. Like the other one, like the 300I. It's 24 meters in length. It can crew one person. But one thing that's different about it is that it has an extra two cargo units of space so it can store six cargo units. It has a size 4 primary thruster, and it looks really cool. This is probably one of the best thrusters on any single-seater ship we have, in my opinion. It's still got the standard 12 maneuvering thrusters. There's little black dots there. It's got a size 3 power plant, like the other one. It still has two size 2 fixed mounts. One other difference about this thing, though, is that it has got the size 2 gimbal on the front. Apparently, according to the website, does it? Oh, it's not on here, though. Oh, there's one on the 25A. Not here. No, but there you go. So, there'd supposedly be one there. Another difference... Well, first things first, it's got the size 3 shields. But another... Since this is the exploration ship, it's got a exploration jump engine, and it's got a jump point scanner. So, if you want to do some exploration, perhaps this is a good ship to start with. If you cannot... Well, considering you cannot buy the Aurora LX at this point, this one might not be a bad option. Also, probably one of the things I love about this ship is the color scheme. It's got the kind of the dark silver and the yellow. It looks absolutely fantastic. But similar to the other one, I mean like the landing gears are all the same. Just as much detail. These weird intake vents are still here. These weird doors are still here too. I don't know what these are for. Wings are identical, except for the color. And these mechanisms, they're, the mechanisms here, they're even very similar, aside from this big, huge thing sitting out the back. The engine on this thing is so much bigger. I guess that's because it has the jump engine in it. You kind of need it to be a bit bigger. I think, don't, don't quote me on this, but maybe these are the flares. I don't know if I saw them on the 300i or not, but maybe I did, maybe I just missed it. But I think those are flares for missiles. But like, look at that engine. Look at the scale of it. It's like as tall as I am, as wide as I am tall as well. But these little hydraulics, they are to physically uh, close the nozzle so that it can get more thrust out of it. Which is really cool. And they actually, they, they do move in-game. The animation is there. I don't know about these doors. I think maybe they move too. I don't remember. It's really cool. Coming around here again. Got some really, like, the good pipes on here as well. Like, there's a big pipe running along the length there. I'll have to have a look at it when we get up top. And again, the windscreen is very silver. I'd like... Personally, I would make it transparent on all of these, almost. Or, like, a really dark tint, not like a silver. But that's just me. Anyway, let's head inside. Okay. Um, okay. So, looking around in here... It's exactly the same. It's literally exactly the same, except you can see a little bit of yellow here, maybe, when you open the door, but that's about it. What's that sticker say? I can't I can't get up that close to it. Warning something. Attention. Your fingers will get snapped. But regardless, it's got the exact same interior. I'm assuming the bed will pop out like it did in the three hundred I. We'll have to take a look at that in a moment, though. I don't want it to bug out like it did before. 
These big bright lights are kind of annoying. Let's take a look in the cockpit. That's strange, actually. You got some yellow paint in here. But, as you can see, the cockpit is virtually the same. Let's take a look in the seat. Doing something. Launch complete. Landing complete. Just talking to me again. Also, another thing, I, I I really like the origin voice. Robert's like RSI. It's kind of the manly voice. Same with Anvil. Uh, uh, Drake. Sorry. It's kind of distorted, but this is very. Um, in the first Star Trek movie, when Spock goes into the red matter ship, uh, it reminds me of that voice. And it's because it's high tech. Origin is very, very high tech, um, and they're very fancy as well. I can't wait to sit in my 890 jump and get ready to take it, to take off and have that wonderful voice talk to me about it. But anyway, same kind of thing. It's actually like exactly the same. Those two circle things pop out, holograms. Let's take a look outside. Again, I, I absolutely love the color scheme on this thing. Keep in mind that we should be able to change the colors on our ships, so you don't have to just stick with the stock one. On any ship, presumably. Maybe on the bigger ones. Hard to say. Let's think about it as well. That'd be a pain to paint. Big javelin. Jeez. It's a very pretty ship, though. The light reflects off it quite nicely as well. If it wasn't for the hangar floor bugging out in the bottom, then it would be okay. Again, though, I, I don't like the I don't like the windscreen. It's too too shiny. Makes it look almost a little bit like a fake texture or something, even though it's not. Like a fake metal, like a uh, computer generated metal of some kind, if you know what I mean. Some of the older games. Take a look inside again. It's exactly the same. I don't like the yellow as well that's kind of poking in so much. Maybe if it was the silver that was outside, then it'd be a bit better, but I don't I don't know, I don't fancy it very much. But yeah. Good shot of the inside. Let's hop out of the seat. Put those things away. Take a seat in the bed. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how to put it away. I have no idea. But, anyway, same view. Oh, that's how we put it away. You can click on the screen. Look at this. You can kind of see where it goes to. That's cool. Anyway, let's let's pop outside. Try to get on top and such again. But first things first, oh my gosh, like look at these things. These things are gonna get you so far so fast. Like look at that. Absolutely brilliant. I oh, got up there first try. Again, the intake, assumably. Got these nice yellow things up here. I don't know what they're for. I don't know. Can we actually... Oh, look. I'm going to fall through. Shoot. Let's try getting up there again. Oh, that's broken. That's very broken, actually. Don't run off the other end. Nice intake. I will walk off the end this time. 
if you can just kind of you can see the scale of this thing is just massive even though it's like a little single seater ship hop down the other side again these these big like tubes fantastic can't see in there my flashlight's not working either the detail on this is immense I do love the color scheme though. I'll say it again and again. So I mean what do I what do I really really like? What do I think of the ship? Would I ever buy one kind of thing? I think if kinda like I said with the three hundred I, if I had the money in game then I'd maybe buy one. I would buy one of these over the three hundred I any day, simply because I find the exploration concept to be more interesting as opposed to the racing that you would probably be more inclined to do with the 300i. But I don't know, it's, again, it's entirely up to what you want to do. I don't know if I could actually fit one of these in my 890 jump, I'd have to, I'd have to do more research on that. If I could, then it would, <laughs> it would definitely be an option. But anyway, I thank you for watching this fantastic video. Please stay in for... Uh, I can't talk. I really can't. I don't know what it is. But thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for more. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.